Now that we've read the book Jack and the Beanstalk, let's do an experiment together. Today we're going to find out what happens to the water after it's been absorbed by the stems. Where do you think it goes? Are you ready to find out? Let's do it! These are the materials we need for the experiment. First we need some water, two tall cups or glasses, scissors, celery, and because I don't have some food coloring, we're going to use some old markers. Now before we start our experiment, I would like for you to do some thinking. Put your thinking caps on, give your neurons a good massage, wake them up, and we have to do a little prediction. Do you remember what prediction means? We have to think what will happen. Now, we have to think what will happen to the celery if we put this in some colored water. Think about it for a minute and let's continue with the experiment. The first thing we need to do is to pour some water in both cups. You don't have to fill it all the way. I'm just pouring water halfway. Then we're going to color our water. I'm using the blue marker in one cup. I'm going to leave it there so the color gets all mixed in. You can stir it around for a little bit. I'm going to do the same thing with the other cup. I'm going to leave the orange marker inside so the color gets mixed in. Stir it around a little bit. And then we have to use our scissors. Remember, you have to be very careful. You can ask for mom and dad to help you out. I'm going to cut up the stalks. I think I'm going to cut up about four of them. Now be very careful. You don't have to do it very tall. I like to use the inside ones, the little tiny stalks. I think it works better. Now that our stalks are ready, let's place them in the colored water. I'm placing one in the blue water and one in the orange. Those are the tall stalks. Now I'm going to put the little ones in each cup. And that's it. Were you able to follow along with the experiment? Remember we put some celery stalks in blue water and some in orange water. Now look at it closely and observe it. Do you think you will see a big difference right away? Do you see any changes in the celery stalks? What do you think is happening? We have to leave the celery stalks in water for a day or two. It takes a while for the stems to absorb water. But to show you the results, Ms. Velasquez did the experiment last night. Before I share with you what happened, can you try to remember your prediction? Remember the question, what do you think will happen to the celery stalks when we leave it in colored water? Are you ready to find out? Let's move these two glasses to the side. Here are the two glasses with some celery stalks that I prepared last night. What do you see? Do you see any difference? What happened to the celery stalk after leaving it in colored water overnight? Did the celery stalk dry up? How did the stalk change? Look closely. When I look at the celery stalks, I see that the leaves changed color, even the stem. I could see where the water went through. This tells me that the stems absorb the water from the bottom all the way up and distributed all the colored water to the leaves. There is one more thing I would like to share with you. Ms. Velasquez will take one of the stems out of the water 
so we can look closely. Look at the bottom. Do you see those little holes? The colored water goes up to the leaves through those little holes. That's what happens when plants absorb water through the roots. The water travels up through the tubes in the stems to all parts of the plant. The plants use the water during photosynthesis to make food. Did you like that experiment? You can try it at home. I can't wait to see what color you're going to use for your water. Bye for now, friends. See you later.